Welcome back everybody to Soros 001's channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I expand my empire in OpenTTD. As you know, I have just released a video showing you how to get the best start. Well, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set up your first chain of operations. And well, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to go with a basic scenario. Uh, we're just, it doesn't really matter what the settings are. We're just going to go straight into it. Okay, so when you load into the game, you've got a setup like this. Now, this is um, this is one of those things that you're going to have to look on the map for because there are ways of doing this, but there seems to be one right here. This is the perfect place to start off your empire. Uh, we'll get a railway connection here thing and we'll go five and we'll put it like, well, yeah, put it about there. Doesn't really matter what the output of those is because this is just the start and I'm going to show you how to get the best out of this. So anyway, I'm going to go, I'll just get this started and then I'll be back. Okay, so if you're familiar with my Pro Start video, this is a familiar site to you. I've just got my first two tracks set up and it's going to this power station over here. Now, where do you go from here? Well, the simple thing is that you add more and more things onto the line going to different places, but you use your basic line to actually transport the stuff to other places. So, let's see, we've got a forest here producing 99 tons of wood, that's 162 tons of coal. If we've got another power plant up here, which we do, we can actually transport the coal from this station all the way up to this power plant. And there's a couple of um, sawmills there as well, so we can do that as well while we're at it. So what we're going to do, is chuck in a station there and another station there make sure that it's got coverage on the actual forest if you do that sort of thing and we're going to come down here across here uh, we may have to go around the other side of that forest with this one actually hang on All right. Now, for now, because it's actually cheaper to do it this way, uh, we'll just borrow a bit more money. Just imagine that you actually earned this money. Because it's actually cheaper to do it this way, we're going to connect these up straight across the track like that. Now don't get too concerned with the trains getting clogged up on the railway because it's not really much of a concern when you first start out the game. It is a concern later and I'll probably release another video showing you how to do that sort of thing. But anyway we've got that there. Connect up that one as well. I think we'll have to remove that and connect it up like that. There we go. Now, this one, whenever you have something like this, just flatten out that piece. That's all you need to do. Make sure you have your stations in before you start doing editing to landscape and stuff because some townships don't like your landscaping and will give you a bad reputation if you don't do the, the station first. And then you won't be able to put a station in and then all your landscaping has basically been for naught. So we've got this station here like this. And if we go up here, we've got a power station and a sawmill here. Now, when you're doing this, put your sawmill, put your station like this. And there is a reason for this because you want a gap between where you're 
you want a gap between where your rail joins the main line and where it goes into the station because you're going to have at least one train waiting to get into the station when you do this sort of thing. So I'll just get this. And boom, and boom, like that. And do the same with this one. And boom, and we'll grab that one out of the way. Like that. And then just do the crisscross on either end. Always make sure you leave a little bit of room for these guys. And put one there, we'll put one there. Train depots are very handy at that sort of thing. And now we come down to our secondary set of stations down here and build ourselves some more trains. All right. Let me build ourselves some trains to transport the coal. And it'll go to there. Now, full load that. Close off your other ones, clone it about, well, twice will do to begin with. And then we've got this one here, it's going to be the same thing. Wood truck, oh, I need a bit more money. Just imagine that you're actually earning this money for this. I mean, for the purposes of the video, it would take me too long to actually earn the money. Um, and we'll just put two on that line. All right, now make sure that you have your signals in or these lines as well. Otherwise they'll be waiting um, at, at the start of the line for the station to clear and it will clog up your entire line. All right, so breakdowns are on. Now, if you're playing a game with breakdowns on, there is a way that you can actually set up a line like this so that even if there are breakdowns on, the trains will still be able to get through. And you really only need it for the main line because the little lines that are coming off like this, it doesn't really matter that much because if they break down on one of these lines, there's generally only a couple of trains on the line anyway. But I will show you how to set up a secondary line going around the outside like this doesn't matter at the station, it doesn't need it at the station because if they're at the station they're probably not going to break down at the station or if they do it doesn't really matter that much. So you put your secondary line on straight down here down here ah oh, can't actually go over that and if you ever encounter something like that just do that and go around that go one more like that and I'll show you how this works alright so we've got it set up now I'm just going to show you how this works so we've got two rails going up and we've got two rails coming back so the two rails coming up, we've put these little crisscross paths on them with enough space for trains to stop in between. So the idea of these crisscross paths is if a train breaks down anywhere along this track, 
Like say a train breaks down here, what will happen is instead of the train coming along here with the broken down train on that track, it will actually switch onto the other track and continue on its journey that way. So it makes it pretty freaking handy like that. So it can switch here, 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 here, and you just put these all along your track, um, keeping in mind that if you have multiple trains running on this track when you've got broken down trains, they will be able to switch between the tracks and the flow of trains should never really stop that way. And here's another thing. If you have to go around a town like this and there's like one road or something sticking in there and you can't get rid of it because the town doesn't freaking like you or whatever, just connect it back into the main track and then come back out again. And that should solve your issue there. So I hope that this has been helpful for everybody who was wondering how I play with breakdowns on. But yes, so I've spent like... Um, four five hundred grand or something getting all this set up hang on let's take a look yeah I spent six hundred sixty four thousand getting all this set up you earn that back in no time with a track set up like this and if you ever need to connect any trains onto the track this is the beauty of this setup if you ever need to connect any trains onto the track all you have to do is connect them to one side or the other and use a um a setup like this uh, if you're going to connect, well, actually, I'll leave I'll leave that for another video. If you're going to connect them from one side or the other, um, you have to have them coming off on the other side as well. But I'll leave that for another video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that helps you understand how to play with breakdowns on, because that's the sort of thing that you really need to know. And if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.